2.3.1 Solving Compound Inequalities A central question How could I distinguish between conjunctions and and disjunctions or and compound inequalities? Skill I could solve compound inequalities. Solve for x and graph the solution on the number line below. This one's an or compound inequality. We have negative x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 6, or negative x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 6. We'll solve each one separately. To isolate the x, we're going to subtract 5 from each side, and then divide each side by negative 1. When you divide by a negative number, for inequality, you switch the sign. So now it's going to be greater than or equal to. Or let's do the other one. Subtract 5. Divide by negative 1. You divide by negative, so we switch the sign. We flip it x is greater than or equal to 11 or x is less than or equal to negative 1. So this is our solution and then to graph it on the number line we plot the two points we have negative 1 and 11. We're going to put closed points because they have equal to in their signs and then since it's or, we're going to shade the outside of the number line. Okay, the next one is an and compound inequality. Negative 7 is less than 2x plus 1 is less than 7. This time instead of doing them separately, we're going to solve this all together. So we'll subtract 1 from each side. There's three sides to this inequality. And then divide everything by 2. So then we have negative 4 is less than x is less than 3. That's also the same thing as saying x is greater than negative 4 and x is less than 3. Let's plot our solution. We have negative 4 and 3. There's no lines underneath the inequality symbol, so they're going to be open holes. It's an and, so we will shade in between the two numbers. Alright, go ahead and try the other ones on your own. And answer the essential question. 